6.28 miles, 7 minutes, 46 seconds per mile. Feeling pretty good out there today. Relatively warm. Uh, my watch said it was 40 degrees outside. Didn't quite feel that way, but it did feel a lot warmer than it's been feeling. So definitely appreciated that getting out there today. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about the fourth Thursday in November, which for those of you, uh, maybe some of you in the United States don't even know that, but many of you outside of the United States will probably not know that that is the day that Thanksgiving is celebrated here in the United States. Back in the 30s, it happened twice in the same decade where there were five Thursdays in the month, and that meant that there was a minimum amount of time between Thanksgiving and the Christmas holiday, which is usually kind of, for a lot of Americans, kind of like the turn on point where you're allowed to celebrate Christmas and you can do stuff like Christmas shopping. People didn't want to feel rushed. They want to have like an extra week to do their Christmas shopping and get ready for the Christmas season. And so in that decade, when there were two five Thursday Novembers, uh, it became a problem. And so the first time it happened, President Roosevelt received a request from the National Retailers Association to move Thursday, Thanksgiving up a Thursday. So that way there would be the kind of the same amount of time as always. Uh, he denied the request. Then it happened again in 1939. Uh, and uh, he did uh, comply with the request, giving them the extra Thursday. Basically, Thursdays were whatever Thursday the president declared it to be. Uh, before then. And so there was a convention in terms of the last Thursday, but the president could basically decide. And that goes back to the first official Thanksgiving that was celebrated in the United States, which was uh, in 1789 uh, from a proclamation of George Washington. Uh, but anyway, it changed things up when President Roosevelt decided he would do something different. And there was a little bit of confusion. Some states had their Thanksgiving celebrations on the last Thursday anyway. And so there was, people didn't know when they were allowed to celebrate Christmas anymore or when they should be giving thanks. And so it freaked everybody out to settle the dispute. Congress passed a law in December of 1941, December 26, 1941. The weird thing about that is two things. One, they passed this law like three weeks after Pearl Harbor, which I think is kind of a strange time for Congress members to be thinking about how do we resolve this Thanksgiving dilemma? When the last five Thursday, thing, November had been like years ago. Anyway, and, and it wouldn't happen for another handful of years. So that's one weird thing. Uh, the other weird thing is that they passed a law the day after Christmas, which I can't imagine Congress convening the day after Christmas, even during wartime uh, anymore in 2018. So just some weird facts for you there. Um, so Thanksgiving is this year on the 22nd of November, which yes, feels early and does make Christmas long uh, this year, which uh, is good for people, I guess. Although I don't know why it's on a Thursday. No one, I don't think anyone knows why it's on a Thursday, but it's on a Thursday. Different people have asked the president back when the president got to pick whether or not it wouldn't be a better idea to do it on a Friday. But in retrospect, now that it's on a Thursday, everyone kind of always gets Friday off too, so you get kind of two days. And Thanksgiving these days anymore is becoming like a week-long thing because everyone used to travel on a Wednesday and then traffic would be so miserable. Now, so a lot of people leave it on Tuesday. That's what we're doing this year. And so it's just gonna become like a week-long thing. Um, yeah, so that's the evolution of Thanksgiving in the United States. But that's uh, my take on Thanksgiving. I love the holiday. I think it's great. Um, uh, although I don't usually celebrate it. Growing up, my family never really celebrated it um, because uh, my mom was a nurse. We were immigrants. We didn't grow up celebrating Thanksgiving. So I had no family like traditions or holidays really to speak of. And my mom worked a lot of times on Thanksgiving. The first Thanksgiving that I remember really celebrating with my family, uh, I think my mom bought a chicken from Boston Market or back then it was called Boston Chicken. Uh, and we had that. And so I thought that was pretty good. And I remember telling my mom, Mom, it's supposed to be a turkey for Thanksgiving. And I think she specifically said, what am I gonna get a turkey for? There's only four of us in the family. We're never gonna eat a turkey. So uh, she got a chicken and that worked out pretty good. Uh, since then, you know, I've adopted my wife's family's uh, Thanksgiving traditions, which uh, I think are great. Uh, she has a big family and we had a very small one being immigrants. And so I love all her big family stuff. So I love Thanksgiving. I love uh, Christmas. Uh, Thanksgiving is just a, a very peculiar day involving a lot of eating. And so, of course, I'm going to like it. And um, 
it's this is why it's always on the fourth Thursday and not like the second to last Thursday or the last Thursday. It's always the fourth Thursday uh, by law. <laughs> um, before I go for today, I'm going to talk about today's charity runner for the day, it's Isabella Arudia, and she is running on behalf of a family member uh, who has experienced some medical issues. Uh, that family member needs to go to the Mayo Clinic. It's going to be an expensive trip and an expensive stay. And so Isabella uh, is running to raise funds for that family member's GoFundMe page. Uh, good news is that that GoFundMe uh, goal has already been met. Uh, but as medical expenses go, you never know what else is going to happen down the line. And also uh, that family members GoFundMe page has indicated that anything in excess of what she's actually going to need is going to be donated to a charity benefiting whatever diagnosis that she gets. She doesn't know what the diagnosis will be yet. That's why she's going. Uh, and so all the money will still go to a good cause. Um, Isabella has done this before in terms of uh, doing a charity run. And it's not a race, but what the way that she does it is she does Strava art. So like the GPS art, I'm sure most of you guys have seen something like that before. Isabella has done a T-Rex. She's done a dog uh, helping to raise funds for people that she knows or for causes that she is concerned about. Uh, and I think it's really, really cool. She had asked me to hold off on doing her spotlight until after she could actually do the run uh, which is going to be an interesting uh, another animal and uh, you should check it out she'll be doing it over the Thanksgiving weekend although I believe she's in Canada so it's just a weekend for her I think and um, it'll be interesting I'll post a photo of that once it's done so that way you guys can see uh, what animal she ran uh, in the streets of Canada. But she had asked me to hold off on doing her spotlight until I could show the animal and the GPS run first. But for two reasons. One, uh, because her family member's GoFundMe page goal has already been met and very quickly, uh, I wanted to get this out there uh, before that thing closed. And number two, I'm just running out of charity runners. So if you are a charity runner or know a charity runner, please send me the information, email it to me, uh, message me on Twitter, Instagram, leave it in the comment. I'd love to be able to spotlight another charity runner, another charitable organization or cause, uh, give you $5 and hopefully get other people to donate as well. To be honest, I'm not sure how many other people are donating, but I think this is one of those things that's gonna take some time to build momentum. Uh, so if you guys will be willing to be my guinea pigs, uh, you'll at least get the $5 and um, we can start building something where it becomes something that has a little bit more weight to it. Um, so that's something that I'd like to do, something that I'm trying to build. Um, that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on? 